Welcome to my channel. I have another journal set up today because I'm flying through this journal. It's a quite small journal anyway, so it was kind of expected, but I need to set up a new journal. So I'll have one ready to go into once I finish this one. So yes, if you haven't seen, I have a video setting up this journal. It's a smaller journal for me, um, a lot less pages. I've been in this journal for a few weeks, two to three weeks, and... I only have a handful of pages left. That's it. My next journal I think is going to be this one, which I found at a vintage shop in Baltimore. Uh, it says Suki Journal. You can look up www.suki.co.uk. Let me show you what's really cool about this journal and why I just had to purchase this journal and why I was so excited to work in this journal. It has all these fun different pages. Some lines, some dot, this little like envelope thing, more lines, some type of like craft paper. And I really love these like blue puffy edged pages. These are my favorite pages in the journal. But yeah, it's a really cool journal and I'm really excited to work in it. Yeah, I always kind of have a lineup of notebooks to use because I have so many unused notebooks, but this one just shot past all of those because it's also kind of fall with the decor, the decoration on it. Um, it's also kind of fall with the pattern on it, so I just had to use it now. Now is the perfect time to use it. So today we're just going to be decorating it and setting it up. I'm so excited. I have some supplies to use here. These are my stickers, as you know. I got this cool sticker pack from the same vintage shop that I got the journal from. It is from 3 Potato 4 and it's got eight stickers. It's got a nice big sticker pack. So I've got lots of fun options here. Got all of these plus all of my regular ones. Also, I have these really cute stickers. I got this set of stickers from Amazon that I'm very excited about. They're so cute. So a lot of really cute options this time around. I'm just gonna start by sifting through my stickers and picking one out ones that I might actually use. could kind of stick with a space theme here. I think I'm liking this layout. And that is the cover. Let's open it up. One thing I'm worried about with this journal is I'm worried that the pages are going to be too thin. So that might be an issue, but I'm just going to use it anyway. I picked out some washi tapes that I want to use. I also have some paper.
I have some extra craft paper that I can use. I'm thinking I'll glue that down for the title. I'm gonna put down some washi tape first though. see through this page to the blue one it's a little worrisome so this will be journal number 12 maybe i do a blue to match this paper does this look unbalanced there now it's more balanced i think i hope god i can't look at this too long And I use the same pen. Oh, actually it was a different pen. But I also have this card that I could use. I could also snip this off and just use the rest for the start and end date. I might just do that. There we go. I'm really liking this journal. I'm really hoping that these thin pages won't bother me. I'm just really excited to use this variety of paper. And yeah. Again, for the stickers on the cover, these stickers are from 3 Potato 4 in a set. These three are all from my set that I got on Amazon. I'll try to remember to leave the link. And then here is my own sticker, which you can find on my Etsy at Star Stationery Supply. So yeah, this is journal number 12, the full setup. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to start using this journal. But I mean, first I need to wrap up this journal. I'm past the halfway mark, like a couple days ago. This was my halfway mark, and then here's where I am now, but it's such a small journal that that means that I'm almost done. So I know you guys love flip throughs, so you have something to look forward to. And yeah.